first the opportunity to come in and address everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank Brad for that. Uh, that's probably one of the nicest introductions I've had in a while. I'm not used to having uh, some, some of those nice words thrown at me lately, but that's... Uh, well, so it's, it's, it's refreshing. refreshing. Yeah, yes, no, it's refreshing, so thank you very much. So again, I am. I, I'm the, uh, the senator for the 51st Senate District. Through the redistricting process, I previously had, or I, I should say, I previously had the northern parts of Shenango County. Through the redistricting, what happened, they kind of flipped me and gave me the southern parts and expanded what I had in Shenango County. So I'm pleased, of course. More importantly, I'm honored uh, to be able to represent now uh, the towns in the southern part of the county. Uh, give you just some quick background on me, and then uh, we can move into the questions and answers, which I'm sure uh, everyone really has the, the, the desire to try to understand this mess that I'll call it all. So, uh, real quickly, uh, I'm the son of a German sausage maker. That's my trade. I'm a sausage maker and meat cutter by trade. Um, we had a family business located in Worcester where we made all of our, our uh, sausages and, and so on. Uh, I married my childhood sweetheart. We met when we were in, in uh, juniors in high school and I, I had to I had to get her to I had to get her when she was early, if you will, when she didn't know there were other choices out there. Right? So I was extremely proud and happy to have that. Um, I have two children, two grown children who have uh, children as well, so I'm also a papa, which I hold extremely in high regard. My uh, legislative experience is uh, I have been a town council member for the town of Maryland. I am a former town supervisor for the town of Maryland. And I'm also a former Otsego County legislator who represented District 6, which is four towns. At the time that uh, Jim Seward, who was the senator of the 51st, he uh, called me up one day and told me he was going to retire, and he asked me if I would consider running for his position. I was honored uh, to have him have the faith in me. Of course, we ran, and I was fortunate enough to be elected. I'm also a businessman. I own a food ingredient company where we also do research and development and product development for food companies. I moved that company. We were headquartered in College Station, Texas, and in 2017, before I ever thought about running and doing what I'm doing now, we moved our corporate headquarters from College Station, Texas, to Skanevis, New York, where I reside. The interesting part about that is the first